Hey guys, I'm back. It's Midnight Strike, and back with another review. So, the last time I was here, I reviewed this little bad boy right here, known as Linkin Park's Living Things. So, I was very skeptical of this album, so I didn't actually have it in my possession during the time of the actual review. So, I picked it up after assuring myself that it was, well, reasonably good, and it actually blew my mind, to say the least. So, that being said, I'm back with another review, as the title says, of Mark Tremonti's All I Was. Now, Mark Tremonti is one of my favorite guitar players from one of my favorite bands of all time, Creed. And yeah, they are radio friendly, they are mainstream, they're commercial, but that was the point. So, they sound good, and they have fun while doing it, and Scott Stapp's voice is back for 2012, so there we go. What better way to start off or end the end of the world year, right? So, diving into a little bit of it, um, I don't know. So, most of this album is pretty solid. There are, a, there is a lot of filler though, in between the cracks. And where this album shines, in particular, I would say is the crunch of the guitars and the heavy the heavy factor because never before have we seen Tremonti's voice captured on a CD and although it does lack a little bit of the feeling and emphasis and energy that he had because he had sort of a raw feeling a more raw energy in well for example AOL sessions in 2009 with my own prison Highly recommend anyone to check it out. I was practically begging Mark Tremonti from the other side of my computer screen, please do an album, sing it yourself, you know? And then when I finally heard about it, I was hyped as shit for this thing. So, that being said, I'm gonna put my phone on the ground, you'll probably hear it vibrate. That being said, it is just, his voice is phenomenal. It's just some of the polish kind of lacks or rubs off and shows its wear and tear of the vocals and where the vocals leave off the crunch of the heavy re heavy metal riffs come in this is probably the heaviest thing that Tremonti or that Mark Tremonti has ever released because well Blackbird as we all know Blackbird and AB3 were his heaviest prior to this and Full Circle was right up there. And yes, while he did have some heavy hits with Scott Stapp and Creed and all those guys with, say, Say I, What If, Bullets, those were just a few songs in the mix of a bunch of other commercial, commercial hits. Overcome is probably another one, another one of his heaviest, heavier numbers. So, as for all I was... I'm not exactly going to do a track by track for this one because I think it's pretty self-explanatory which ones are filler and which ones are really good actually. And in my opinion, it doesn't really get as good until the end. Although that may really seem hypocritical because Brains is my favorite song on the album and well besides all I was and it is number 4 on the list. But going through it, some highlights are so You're Afraid, Brains, You Waste Your Time, Proof is a really good one, All I Was, phenomenal riff, honestly, one of the best heavy metal riffs that I've encountered in all of my listening to CDs, and Doesn't Matter, eh, it's okay, I mean, it's fun to listen to at first, but then it just kind of gets, it kind of drags on a little bit, and Decay. That one's one of my other favorites, with for his vocals partic in particular, too. And where the cracks kind of show, where a little bit of rust is left, would be Leave It Alone, which is the first track. Not a really good opener. I probably would have just left it to So You're Afraid, if I were Mark. Wish You Well, The Things I've Seen, New Way Out, and Giving Up. Those ones... I don't know. They didn't really rub me the right way. 
they didn't really leave a lasting impression that Creed and Alter Bridge usually had. So, for now, I'm writing them off as filler, but I might get used to it later on. So, that being said, Mark Tremonti, one of my, a very phenomenal guitar player, very phenomenal. And I'm surprised, he, he deserves more publicity, honestly. He's very underrated, and I guess maybe it's because he's with Creed and people don't like Creed for some reason. I mean, I personally like Creed and Scott Stapp's works, but overall, this is Mark Tremonti with a backup band, just like it was Scott Stapp with a backup band for The Great Divide. So, I mean, not that that really rubs off on the quality, but people might be weary of this whereas i was hyped because i had been following creed since the beginning people who aren't really fans of creed and alter bridge won't really find much to enjoy here unless of course they're really into maybe all i was for the riff and you waste your time has a pretty good riff but it's just you wouldn't really find out about it you wouldn't really know about it because that's who he's a part of, that's who he's always been a part of, is Creed and Alter Bridge. So, it's one of those things where you just, you find out about one band through the other, or by word of mouth, I guess. Like, for example, I started listening to Anthrax a couple years ago, and through Anthrax, I found Armored Saint, which is John Bush's old band. For a while, I wrote him off as, yeah, you know, not that good, they're, they're alright, because all I heard was La Raza and Can You Deliver. So, for a while, I did I deleted their discography. I didn't really pay much attention. Then I listened to Symbol of Salvation. It blew my fucking mind. Okay. That enough said. Symbol of Salvation. Armored Saint. Phenomenal record. Maybe I'll do a little bit of a retro review here pretty soon. But, back to all I was... Let's see, what what else can I really say about it besides it's a pretty good record. I mean, it's got more more good songs towards the end than it does towards the front, so it's kind of weighted this way a little bit towards the right, or a little bit below. So, highlights are Brains, Proof, All I Was, Doesn't Matter, Decay, You Waste Your Time, and So You're Afraid. So, that being said, So You're Afraid does sound a lot like You Waste Your Time in a recycled format. And that kind of bugged me a little bit, because I kept thinking that Mark was going to just shout out the chorus for You Waste Your Time by accident in the middle of a song, in the middle of a verse in So You're Afraid. And that kind of thing doesn't really bode well with me. I mean, I'm listening to a song and imagining myself listening to another song. It gets really complicated. I get both songs stuck in my head, so I can't really speak for anyone when I, or for everyone. Can't speak for anyone. Yeah. Can't speak for everyone when I say this, though. But I'll let you guys make your own assumptions, your own opinions about it. But overall, I'd probably give it a solid 8, 8.5 out of 10. Not the best record of the year, not the worst. I personally got into Living Things right away, and I loved it, aside from two songs here and there. I mean, even Roads Untraveled grew on me, so... But this one has tons of filler. I would say two, three, four, maybe like five, as many as five filler tracks. And that's another thing, because... All the songs are between like between three and five minutes long all of them there's not much diversity in there it just seems like they're all compressed into this radio format and then they polish them up and put them through a little bit of radio friendly shine and without that without that extra shine they could have been as gritty as Creed and as fast-paced as Alter Bridge and still have that sort of uniqueness about them, or him, Mark Tremonti, I should say, and his backup band. But overall, really solid album, lots of filler, but it does have that radio-friendly shine to it. It's kind of 
it's kind of prevalent in that mix. So, as I said before, eight, eight and a half out of ten, kind of between those lines, somewhere in there. It's a good album. You should check it out. I'm going to be buying it here pretty soon. I'm running into a little bit of money issues, so as soon as I can. So, peace out.